Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to calculate the RSI or Relative Strength Index in Excel. So here I have the adjusted closing prices for Bank of America from 2000 up until today. And we're going to calculate the RSI for each day in this data set. So let's start. First of all, we need the daily change. So I'm going to make a change column. There's going to be no change in the first row, but from day one to day two, there's going to be a change. This is simply going to be day two's adjusted closing price minus day one. Then if you go to the bottom right corner of the cell and double click the dot over there, you can copy this formula down. So now we need to classify this change as either up or down, and we want positive values in both columns. I'm going to make an up and a down column. So we're going to start with the up column, simply use an if formula, and our criteria is going to be, is this change larger than zero? If it is, we want to show that change, otherwise we want to show zero. Now for the down, same idea, if statement once again, we want to test, is this change smaller than zero, which means it's negative. If so, we want to show the change, but we want to show it as a positive, so we need to add a minus sign to show a positive value and if it's not smaller than zero we want to show a zero then we can simply copy these formulas down in the same way as we did with the change okay so now we want the average up and the average down this is going to be a moving average over the last 14 days usually the rsi uses a 14 day window but you can use any window of your choice so i highlighted the 14th entry in green so we can simply go to the 14th entry and use an average formula and simply take the average of the first 14 ups and do the same for the downs. All right, so now we can calculate the relative strength, which is simply gonna be the average up divided by the average down. Finally, we can calculate our RSI, which is simply a formula applied to this RS. And that formula is gonna be 100 minus bracket, 100 divided by bracket, one plus the RS, and then simply close the two brackets. Then if you copy this down once again, there you have your RSI calculated for each day in this data set. So to get rid of all these unnecessary columns, simply copy your RSI column and paste it as values. Then you can delete all the unnecessary columns. So that's how you calculate RSI in Excel. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.